I have a very strange feeling about tonight. We've got four headless bodies in two weeks. Again, you made trouble for me. They were decapitated. What? I said they were decapitated. Please don't make me go back. I'll die. We're prepared to take her back. She needs our help. The most of the picture, I, I dream in the night. Some dream, someone is was nightmare, but uh, was uh, yes, passing the night. Yeah. Dario Argento, the cinematic master of shock and suspense, is back with a prominent international cast in a compelling story of an attractive but troubled young woman whose parents seem to be the victims of a grisly murder. Desperate and on the run from the authorities and police, she reluctantly accepts the help of a young reporter, trying to uncover the secret behind what has become a series of gruesome decapitations. They discover many more mysteries than they ever imagined. Questions. We have so many questions. We who are gathered here. Dr. Thomas Judd, Dr. Tom to his patients. Dr. Tom is a little uh, off the wall, you know. He's had his license revoked a few times. Each human being's head contains the soul, the one remaining riddle of the universe. Look inside the head, unlock the memory, and the universe Eyes open like a map. Have an affair with uh, Adriana, who's played by Piper Laurie. Well, I'm very pleased. I mean, in one sense, I, I hope he has a good time. <laughs> I just... <laughs> it's a great character. It's been really great working with Dario. He's fantastic. Some of the camera movements that he had the crew doing last night, I've just never seen. And it was delicious watching him instruct the crew. Look and... Uh... Okay, binoculars. Okay. Everything he does helps it. I know exactly what the shot is. I know why the shot is there. He's a real, you know, you, he's a real filmmaker. I'm playing a doctor who a freak accident happens to, just destroys his life. I'm a total junkie. Are you Dr. Lloyd? Yeah, maybe in another life. Do you, got, do you got any money? Linda Cork? Hilda Volkman? Do those names sound familiar to you? Come on. Captain Duran. Georgia Jackson. Oh, just leave me alone. They're dead, you know that? Yeah, so people die. It happens every day. They were decapitated. What? I said that they were decapitated. I love my father's movie. I love the way he works, his relationship with the camera and everything. And it's, it's very beautiful because we are very, very close. Also more now that we are working together. And um, I, I trust him and I think that he trusts me. So it's all very balanced. It's a challenge to do a, a horror film because it's, it's surreal. And there's a lot of things going on that are that are deep things. And it's not just a slasher, go off into the woods and find the guy with the screwdriver and boom, your head cut, gets cut off. There, there's some, there's a real story underneath. And go for it. Daddy. You did it. You did it. You did it, 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 you did it. I think Dio's being more uh let the audience uh put the feeling in, let the audience fill in the blanks and for them I think it's richer that way because they always make it more graphic and more terrifying in their own mind. As far as uh, what he wants to see or, you know, I, I, I didn't try to convince him that he should leave the graphic stuff in. Well, I think it's mostly decapitated heads. Originally, the actors were going to come to us in Pittsburgh at my workshop and we were going to cast them there. But uh, with Piper, we, we had to 
rent a cast of her that was made two years ago. And for Dominique, the character, the Stefan character, uh, they sent us a, uh, just the front of his face, and then we, so we had to build ahead from that. Oh, the character of Captain Travis is uh, working on the uh, case of the missing heads, the decapitation. Keep it close to his neck. There you go. Okay, good. It's good. Okay. Can you yes, see okay. this, Daryl? Okay, yeah. yes, good. I think if he would have uh, hired me to play the janitor that finds the heads, I probably would have done it. I, I think he's fantastic. His films are quite amazing. What? Does she have any other relatives? No one. She was a patient of mine at the Faraday Clinic. What was wrong with her? I'm afraid. I'm not at liberty Judge. to say, Captain. Judge, kill the rain. Okay, new deal. Yeah, Going into the three camera setup. You okay? Final car crash. We designed uh, a car stunt that will incorporate a little bit of the action in the script. And what happens is this car that I'm driving, a Cadillac, will be flying down the road, escaping from the house. <laughs> I blow through some barriers that, police barriers, they set up in the road. And after the barriers, I'm going to hit a police car sideways. The police car is sitting sideways in the road blocking the exit. And I'm going to hit it at about 65 to 70 miles an hour. And as the police car spits out of the way, I'll do a 360 and end up hitting those steel barriers behind me, um, which will stop the car, hopefully. I have a very strange feeling about tonight. Remove the chain! You're here! I, I experiment lots of things in this picture. I like something deep from your dark side. It's not Nicholas. It's some other soul. With us. When uh, the recent dead who follow their killers speak, my head took my head. I know who the killer is. The killer is... <laughs> Daria. <laughs> Film by Dario Argento.